What's up, gardening friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. It's been a while. I mean, it's always a week between vlogs, but I haven't uploaded this week except for yesterday. There's the video on my parents, which I'm sorry that that may have seemed a little bit slow and boring, but I'm just instinctively calm and quiet around my birds. So... That's how it came off on camera, too. I'm not going to be loud and hyped up and get them loud and hyped up and stressed out for a video. So that's what that's about. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded this week. I took the week off to spend time with family for the holidays. I hope everybody else was able to do the same. And uh, yeah, there's a lot in store for this week. Uh, some unexpected cold snaps. Going to the butterfly house where there's a bunch of orchids in bloom. Not all the plants look that great little bit dehydrated some of them and some improper placement but hey you know that's okay you know people do what they can hopefully just seeing such beautiful things can be like a gateway to getting more people into orchids and yeah so that that's what's going on i don't really know what else to say here so let's let's just let's just dive on in uh and it is very cold very 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 cold 57 doesn't feel that cold it happens out here. It's a garage. I've insulated it. I've done things to avoid it being too cold, but it is what it is. It's cold in here right now because the temperature outside unexpectedly dropped to 9 degrees. And I still have plants out there that I was going to bring in when it dropped below 15, which I was supposed to have a few more days. But, uh, hey, that's just the way things go. This is life. So... I have to make room in this grow room for about, I'd say seven to nine more plants. I have three windmill palms outside. They're potted, I'm gonna bring them in. And three queen palms, which they might be toast. They, I mean, the, it's nine degrees, 10 degrees, eight degrees, that's, that's, that's pushing things. And it's snowed on top of everything, so there's snow on top of them. Just moving them when it's this cold could be what kills them. I don't know. I'm going to try, though. And then a large oleander, which actually looks like it's doing okay, but sometimes with cold damage, it takes a while to see it. So I'll move it in, see how it's doing. And then I have two camellias, which I think they're okay, but they're potted. They're not in the ground. I'm going to move them in until temperatures get back up into the, like, you know, upper 20s and 30s just to be safe. Preferably even warmer than that, but... We're only, a, you know, not even a week into winter here. Today's the 26th. Hope everybody had a happy holiday. It's a little bit alarming that it's this cold already. I've been looking at the forecast, and it's supposed to stay below 20 for the next several days. And there's lots of snow. I'm not complaining about the snow, though, because we have been in a bad, bad, bad drought. And when the snow melts, that's going to help with that. But it's not helping with my palm trees and things I have outside. So I need to make room for these plants. I already brought the mule palms in a few days ago. I like to bring them in when things drop into the teens just because it would be so hard to replace them. You can get small ones for like $80 a piece, which these were a few years ago, but they've grown. Replacing them this size would cost a fortune. I don't even think I could. I don't think anybody would ship anything this big up north here to St. Louis. This is all recycling, so... But I'm not even worried about that. I'm worried about the middle where the plants go. I need to somehow make room for these other plants. And one of the problems is one of the queen palms has gotten so big that I think it's going to have to lay on its side. I might trim all the foliage off. I, I mean, if the foliage is even alive still. Probably going to have to do some fungicide treatments. I need to reorganize my pots and things over here, get them out of here. And it's just, it's a lot. But I'm going to do what I can and see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so you might be wondering what's going on here. Well, I have to rearrange before I can bring the other stuff in. I need to make room. And in doing that, there are always obstacles, such as I want to keep a path over here where the sago palm is that, so I can access the aquaponics pond. I don't know if I'm able to pull that off, though. I'm keeping, right now I have this pothos right here next to that croton, and they're easy to move, so I think that may work. And I have to keep in mind the order of the plants. The more tropical they are, the closer they are to the house, because that's where it's warmer and that's where there's more light. And so the windmill palms will be over here on the edge, probably just on the ground. But I have two very large hibiscus trees, which I've had to prune. I did a lot of pruning because the garage door is here. So when the garage door opens, it'll hit the tops. And it's fine. I don't mind pruning them. 
But my mule palms have gotten so large that I'm having trouble figuring out where to put them this year. I like to keep them where I can get to them easily so on warm days I can scoot them outside. But I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off this year. I went ahead and I have been cutting them back a little bit because they'll put out a fresh flush of growth in the springtime. I won't even be able to notice that they've been cut at that point. Though I really prefer to not do that. But I think I may have to cut them and prune them to make them fit. So those are probably going to go here in front of the spindles, though I wouldn't consider them to be super tropical. The hibiscus should really be back there, but there's too much cover up here from the lights. And they actually, my hibiscus trees have always done very well right here, right in this spot right here. They seem to really like this grow light. They're tall enough that they're under it. So that's where they're going to go. So it's just a matter of filling things in. I've been moving plants that go dormant over to the dormant area where it's a little bit cooler and darker. It's a puzzle. Mule palms moved over here, put my philodendron there. You know, I have plants kind of stacked. And this is not ideal, but I gotta do what I gotta do to make space for things. So I have a croton up on a milk crate and another one over here that's balanced on top of these two uh, pots that the Adenidia palms are in. The reason I don't like this is because it's putting weight on those pots, and this material here has a little bit of give to it. It's a little, it's got a little squish. If it's there's that weight on there, it might push them down a little bit too much. They're already weighted down by the weight of the roots and the soil, and so they may not drain as well. But I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna have to keep a close eye on them. Worst case scenario, I pull them back out, maybe lay some two by fours and put them on top of those. So there's a gap for them to drain through. Okay, so that's that. Did that, and I got my windmill palms brought in. I need to, I think, tie this one up because it is just massive. It's taking up so much space, and there needs to be a clear walkway from here to the small door. For safety reasons, and because I don't want to be wading through a jungle when I come and go. So I don't really open the big door very much during the winter time, especially, you know, when it's 10 degrees outside like it is right now. I did have to open it for a few minutes. I brought all the palms around, which took an extremely long time because all the pots were frozen to the ground, and um, got them lined up and then opened it up and pulled them in as fast as I could. So those are in, and so are the queen palms. And yeah, they're looking kind of shabby, but considering they've had snow on them for a few days, I think they're looking pretty good. And I, you know, I push them, if you watch my channel, I push my plants a little bit further every year They've been through this before, and I was going to have to prune most of their foliage off anyways to fit them in here. They're not going to fit in here much longer. This might be the last year, but we will see. I, I missed a dead branch there. And then there's this queen palm. Uh, it's really kind of outgrown the space. Right now it's laying on its side because it's frozen. They're, they're all frozen, basically. These guys are thawing out. The windmill palm, like I said, I need to tie it up because it's just too wide. But I don't want to really bend the branches that much if I don't have to. That's why it took so long to move the plants around because they're frozen. So I was being very gentle with them because when they're frozen, if you, you're rough with them, you can end up cracking their branches. So same thing with this guy. I need to maintain that spear leaf. It's very important. So once this feels like it's warmed up and it's thawed out, I can go ahead and... Uh, Maybe stand it up, although this is as far back as I can get. I really don't think that uh, it's going to fit. So it may end up having to stay at an angle. Not right here, but I'll have to figure that out. But once that happens, I'm going to go ahead and treat the crowns of these guys with fungicide, uh, copper-based fungicide, and funger fungicide. And I will probably do that, I'd say, mildly once a week for the next few weeks just to be safe. I am so glad to have that done. I also brought my two camellias in just because I don't know how hardy they are. They're just labeled as hardy camellias at Home Depot. Their variety wasn't listed, and I have not had great luck overwintering camellias here in my 6A6B garden, and they're potted, so they're even more exposed. That's why I didn't plant them, actually, because I wanted to expose them to the cold for a year, but be able to bring them in if it's too cold. It's maybe next year one of them will go on the ground. We'll see. But I think they're okay, though. It got down to, I think it was 8 or 9 last night. But they seem okay. I also brought in this azalea. Pardon the mess, by the way. Christmas was yesterday, so there's all kinds of recycling out here that needs to go out. But it's too cold, and recycling doesn't go out for a few more days. So I just have to live with this. But I brought in that azalea bonsai I did. 
Uh, it's a, this variety is one of the Blumathon azaleas, and it's rated for zone 6B. I'm in 6B. So it being potted, I didn't want to take that risk. So I brought that in, and I will push it back out when temperatures get back into the 20s and 30s to be safe. But look, I mean, things are still thawing. So I'm going to let them thaw. I'll tie them up, and and then that's it. I did have one plant I couldn't bring in that I really wanted to, and it's my red oleander. I've had it for a few years. It's gotten very large, but... The pot's frozen to the ground. I cannot get it up. Surprisingly, it still looks okay. So I'm hoping tomorrow it'll be sunny. It's supposed to be. And then I'll I'll have better luck with it. We'll see. It wasn't an expensive plant. I can get a new one. It's not going to be the end of the world if it dies back. But it's a waste of money. And it's a living thing. I'd prefer to take better care of it. So, But unexpected weather happens. And I'm okay with that. It's just the way it is where I live. Where most of us live, especially nowadays. Okay, so yeah, finally done with that. I mean, I guess not really until I put them back, but pretty close. I did a lot of rearranging. I got my uh, Monstera Delicioso, or as Gardening at Duenza, Rachel, she calls them her delicious monsters, which I love that. I have this guy raised up here, and I tied him to the trunk of this palm, which is <laughs> only going to be for a short while because it will grab onto that palm and take off. And this little pygmy date palm, this is not going to survive a plant of this caliber growing on its trunk. This is not ideal though, not ideal at all, because you want air to be able to move around your plants, and if they're too close together, diseases, insects, there's all types of things can spread, and uh, light, like look at how dark things are down here, especially on the backside of these crotons. So I'm going to have to figure something out with that. I don't see it going well if I just leave things like this. But for now, they're always inside and they're not freezing to death, so. That's a plus. All right, so here we are a few days later, and it is still very cold. Although, sadly, it's the warmest day of this week. It's like 16 degrees outside. But it's only 49 in here. The space heater is just, the space is too big for space heaters. So uh, I'm going to go to the hardware store and get a whole bunch of hooks to put up in the ceiling because I'm going to hang greenhouse plastic. I got a little riveting gun so I can put rivets in it. The plastic, it's a 10 millimeter, I think, greenhouse plastic. And that really is, it's kind of heavy. I can't just like duct tape it to the ceiling, which is what I had originally planned to do. Because, you know, duct tape is amazing. But I don't think that's going to hold it for very long. And uh, the other option would be to actually like screw two by fours to the studs in the ceiling and wrap the plastic around those. But that's a pretty drastic change. And this needs to be something that can come up and down. So I have my riveting gun. Is that what it's called? I don't think it's a riveting gun. I can put the rings in things, like if I want to like make my own shower curtain or something like that. So I'm going to put hooks up so I can hang them from the rings. I'll put the hooks down low so that there's an overhang up against the ceiling. Although it's probably just going to droop down. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to take some of the weight off so I can... At things are going to happen, but it's really cold and I don't want to go out. Oh, but the reason I have to do this now is because it's cold today. But it's getting even colder. Okay, sorry, the fans are kind of loud. Uh, what do we have here? 14 degrees? Hi. Uh, cold. But it's supposed to get even colder. It's supposed to be zero degrees in a couple days and potentially minus three. Three below zero. So that's why all this is happening. Also, let's get some coffee. Oh. Home away from home. Cold, I don't want to go out. Uh oh. Not doing it. Nope. Last thing we need are more plants, right? Huh. Hmm. Look at how pretty and shiny these are. Well, that's useless. My full name is Houseplant. That does nobody any good. I love this rainbow. Alright, definitely need some new clippers, because the cheap ones I've been using keep pinching me and they give me a blood blister. I would prefer to get some nice Felcos, but uh... <laughs> you know, holidays and stuff. Yep, that'll do. I almost forgot, I need gloves too. Yeah, extra large, what about it? Uh, yes, I was kinda hungry. And I thought I'd go ahead and... Thank you, Jerry. What's that mean? Um, like, I'm gonna get a salad from Breadco. 
which is Panera, but in St. Louis, they call it St. Louis Bread Co. I don't know why. But uh, this line, yeah, no, not happening. I'll just go to the grocery store and get some lettuce. Thank you. It'll be faster, and I'll save myself like $8 from not getting overpriced salad. To say I am shockingly excited for salad. That's neither here nor there. So at Lowe's, I couldn't quite find the hooks that I think I need. They had two different types or about the right size. The one that would work best for hanging stuff, the screw part on them was very short. I'm not sure it's gonna make it into the stud. And the other ones, they'll work, but they look like stuff will slide right off of them. Like they don't come completely full circle. Like the hook part's just kinda, it's like a lazy hook. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Uh, and I just realized that I'm not sure if the greenhouse plastic that I have left that I'm using is even the right height to do this. I feel like it's a 10, I think I got the 10 foot width on that roll, but it's been several years. So uh, that's not gonna work for a 12 or 14 foot ceiling. But uh, worst case scenario, then I just, you know, have to go back to the hardware store and I'm just gonna get like really thick drop cloth. That, that would be better than nothing. So, wow, three minutes. I'm so sorry. Snow's kind of pretty up here. Not much snow. There's enough. It's pretty. You know, that's my thing. If it's going to be freezing cold out, there may as well be snow on the ground so it at least looks pretty. Because otherwise, everything just looks dead. It's so pretty, though. You know, I record in this spot a lot. I should gather all that footage together and see if I can do, like, a through the seasons thing. Some, I don't know. But it's so pretty. Especially at nighttime. I should come through here before people turn their Christmas lights off. There's also a lot of deer, and that terrifies me. So I'm probably not going to be doing that. Right. Don't know why I said that so slow. I'm home, finally. I just finished uploading tomorrow's video, the New Year's video. This video gave me complications. I couldn't find the right music that was royalty free to go along with the beat of the lights changing colors, so I don't know. It is what it is. Here's all the fun recommendations. I need to catch up on watching other people's YouTube videos. But yeah, so that's done, finally. Let's go ahead and shut this down. And here's some of the stuff I got at Lowe's. I got my gloves, which I'm pretty excited about. My hands get so torn up working with rocks and stuff and trying to tighten things, so. And it's cold out. I don't know how much insulation these are gonna provide, but I'm excited about those. This is for a friend of mine as a late Christmas present who might see this. I guess she's going to get her Christmas present today because she's on her way over and we're going to the butterfly house. Here's my dilemma with the hooks. So uh, these are cup hooks. So you can see that maybe you can see if they're hanging straight from the ceiling, the hook comes up at an angle. That works well. But they don't have much of a screw on them. So they're going to be a little bit harder to anchor into the studs. Whereas these hooks, right here, these screw hooks, they have a longer end on them. They're going to screw into the studs a lot easier. But, see the end on that? Like, and they're straight down, they're kind of at an angle, and I feel like the plastic, the grommets, are just going to pop right off of there. So I don't really know. I got both of them. I saved my receipt so I can take them back. And, I, yeah, I'm going to be working on this tomorrow. So it's actually probably not going to make it into this week's vlog. So that'll be next week. I also wanted to show some Christmas presents. I got this pretty crystal. I actually already own this one. But a family member got it for me, and they were right. I, I still love it. So now I have two, and it's worth it. And this one's actually shinier than my other one. I think it's technically an ornament, but it's not going to be on the tree. I'm keeping that out all year. I got this really, really pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's like orange aura quartz. It's titanium oxide coated, so they actually pour something over these to give them this hue. So it's not like natural, but it's just pretty. 
in my head I was thinking it would look really cool. It would look really cool to have several of these in different colors because they look kind of like coral and do like an under the sea coral reef planter. Uh, but that would also be extremely expensive, so probably won't be doing that anytime soon. Someone got me this bucket with a little shovel in it because, you know, this this guy over here, which is a mess now because my cats got into it and did what cats do, but I still think the shovel, one, this bucket is too big to go with this pot. Like, that's not right. And, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no. The shovel's too big too, but it's okay. Still cute. I'll make it work somehow. And got this little sign that says Sun Surf Sand. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this or not because it's kind of huge. But you know, like if you've ever been to a resort or something, the signs are usually gigantic. I don't know. I think it's colorful and cute. We'll see. And got these adorable little, I guess they're margaritas. I don't know. But they're pretty tiny. I'd say they're about the right size to go with that. Oh, these are neat. These are webcam covers. So on my laptop, I have stickers. I guess I should show what I'm talking about, shouldn't I? There. So on my laptop, I have stickers over the webcam up here. But these guys are little adhesives that you put over them. You can slide them open and closed. Just, I don't like the webcams looking at me. It creeps me out. And so here's what these look like when you have them on. Let's go ahead and I clean this off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no residue on there. So they stick really well. And you just, you know, slide them back and forth. I don't really ever use my webcams. But um, I was thinking about maybe starting some live streams on this channel. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But if that's something I start doing, then I'm probably going to want to use this computer over my cell phone for that. So, yeah, that's what that's for. Now the creepers, the creepy hackers can't watch me. Nice try. I see you. And these. Aren't these cute? They're little tiny fairy garden sandcastles. Kind of big for this, but sandcastles can be all different sizes, so I'm excited to put those in there, too. Like, I mean, this thing only has so much room in it. This is probably going to be an expanding project, I have a feeling. Or maybe I'll swap things out from time to time. I don't know, but... Really, really, really cute. I kind of want to put one in there right now. When I scooted that sign back, and we'll just stick this in. Oh, that's too big. That's really cute, though. Maybe this one? No. Okay, so maybe what's bothering me is that the sand colors don't mix, so maybe I need to get a browner sand or put some type of spray adhesive on this and sprinkle the white sand on it. That might be the problem here. This is a weird sand castle. What is that supposed to be? It looks like a tugboat. Doesn't that look more like a tugboat than a... I guess that's not what tugboats look like. Whatever, it's still cute. Oh, but let's not forget about these guys. Why is the lighting so weird? Oh, because... I have my lights anchored and angled for the Vandas right now. This is adorable! How am I going to make this work? Maybe I just... Like that? That's just going to get knocked right over. Yep. Knocked right over. Me and my extra-large glove-needing mammoth hands here. This is not working. I need tweezers. Okay, it's too tiny. This is way too small. I need tweezers or smaller hands. All right, that'll do. Whatever. I need to put new sand in this anyway, so this pot's getting a little bit busy, though. And so now I'm just waiting for my friend to get here, and we're going to go to the butterfly house. Which I'm very excited about. It's going to be really warm in there. There's orchids. There's tons of tropical plants. I'll put that in this video. I already did a separate video a long time ago, like sometime last year, or maybe just last winter. I'm not sure of the butterfly house here in St. Louis, so, you know, I'm not going to do a whole separate video on it, but I'll put it in the vlog. We'll, we'll go together, all right? Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. But not really, because I'm still waiting on my friend, but for you, we're, we're leaving right now. Come on, let's go. There's orchids in here. And cockroaches. I'm going to put my coat on this. Ew. Kylan Pines. Yeah. And, ew. <laughs> okay. It's so pretty. 
That's a big Chinese fan palm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm guessing 85. Oh, it feels pretty warm. Orchids in bloom. Which, you know, makes sense. It's that time of year. I wish you could tell these guys to hold still for the pictures. Got these Xanadu philodendrons. Rainforest cucumber. Nope, never mind. That's a different plant. Pretty. So beautiful. Wow. Well, y'all got a quarter treat hanging in the darkest spot of this place. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Really though, who needs more light? You guys are cute. Oh, tiny little dendrobiums everywhere. Cute. There's... Yeah. It's just bending over trying to get a shot of that other orchid and this one's right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, we all know about the Wildcat on the city. Um, sorry, it's so shaky. So oh, pretty. So pretty. Look at you hanging upside down like a weirdo. Oh, goodness. Like quite the contrast between inside and outside. Oh, you're pretty. Look at you. Oh, you're so fancy. Just stay still, uh, I need some big sticks to put my orchids on. It looks really cool. Holy frickin' Nepenthes. Wow. And here I was thinking I need to repop mine. Still have a while. How adorable is that? That's so stinking cute. Seriously, look how long that Nepenthe is. This thing's huge. Oh. Nice big Vanda. Mealy bugs. That is a stunning specimen of a plant. Ugh. Whoa. Look at the size of this hibiscus. Hibiscus, Kizzo, Frenus, Hangy Guy. I already showed this. What am I doing? Gizzo Patellus. That's schizophrenus. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. Pretty.
so many orchids. So many having an orchid party. Um, this is an interesting pairing. I have to say, it doesn't look like it's working out very well either. Hmm. Yeah, but some of them look okay. I don't know. Maybe they're onto something. Interesting. Papiopedulums mixed with Saracenios. Hmm. Also, those don't look like a tropical Saracenia. Those are gonna need some dormancy, probably, unless they reversed them. That's possible. I don't remember what I recorded, but here's more orchids. And then here's the hatchery. Where the butterflies come from. And home. That was fun. I don't know how much I'm gonna include in this. I think probably a lot, because there were a lot of orchids in there. It was really crowded, so it's hard to get some good shots, but hopefully that was fun and pretty. I won't know until I edit this. Sorry. Look at this cool gift a friend of mine gave me for Christmas. It's this cool magnet. You can put different covers on it. I like this one because it's hollow-tastic. Okay, it's also pretty heavy. And it has a rounded edge and a flat edge. Okay, so what you do here is you just take the disc. It's a little tricky. On the rounded edge at an angle, you hold it and there it goes. Do you hear it? It makes a whistling sound. It keeps on going. Isn't that cool? It just keeps on going. Magic. When it stops, it makes a really cool sound. That's the only reason I'm subjecting you to this, because I thought it was going to stop pretty soon. You can see the magnets coming off. Oh, oh! Was oh, that neat? Alright, let's, let's try again. I'm going to go for a better spin this time. That's not really a better spin. I'm going to try again. Let's see how many... There we go. Now that I've shown off that, I need to respond to some comments. It's been a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, so sorry I haven't responded to comments. I told y'all in the last vlog I was kind of taking the week off. Normally, there are more videos during the week, so sorry about that. I am going to release a video today just to meet the parrots, meet my birds, but it's, um, it's a very calm, quiet video just because I'm instinctively calm and quiet around my birds, so it might be kind of boring, sorry. But, Kathy McComber... Am I saying your name right, Kathy? Is Pumpkin a munchkin? That's my cat. She is a munchkin. She, I got her, adopted her. My camera fell over. And uh, she just never grew. So, and that actually came with its own set of challenges. But yeah, she is a munchkin. She, I think she's a Himalayan. She doesn't have like papers. She isn't from like a breeder or anything. So, but she is a munchkin. <laughs> yep. Oh, so my Santiago... Uh, Kathy said her Santiago is just as slow as hers, and uh, Miss Lou saying the same thing about her Santiago. Mine is starting to take off a little bit, so I think it's just slow to get going. Next year, I'm definitely going to put it on a heat pad to speed the process up. I'll put it in a shallow pot so it can uh, get the heat, and then I'll pot it up when it starts to have some movement. I'll move it up to something larger. Okay, Kazmikilo said J. Okay, Kaz, I say K to you. That's fun. Yeah, Santiago is ridiculous. So, Rick said Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Rick, and Happy New Year. Excellent taste in your choice of garden furniture and pots. Thank you, Susan. I'm sure there are plenty who would beg to argue with that one. I tend to have kind of, um, what's the word? eclectic taste, but I'm trying hard to make it work and not look, because I like bright, extremely vivid colors, so it's kind of hard to find that balance, but I appreciate that. Merry Christmas, Jeff. Do a video on your favorite plant and seed catalogs. I can, in fact, 
just got one of my first seed catalogs in the mail. So when I get a few more of those in, I will do that. I will definitely do that when more of them come in. Thank you for good times. Thank you for always being so awesome. Uh, same thing to you, Sherry. Always awesome. Merry Christmas. Too many colorful lights. Give one. Thank you so much. Yolanda, very beautiful. So colorful. She was talking about my last Vanda update, and then she commented on the Christmas Palm video. Those are all out of frame. Over there. There they are. Okay. Not a lot of comments, because I haven't really done much this week, so sorry about that. But... Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year. Happy belated Hanukkah. I meant to do say happy first day of Hanukkah on the 12th when it happened. Was it the 12th? I think it was. And I forgot. I'm sorry. And just happy good times to everybody regardless. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say goodbye. Pretty soon. There's a lot to do out here and they're big projects. So they would end up making this vlog so much longer than it already is so it'll just be a next week's vlog i'm gonna put the plastic up around here i went to the hardware store and had to buy more and uh there's some challenges that i've found but it's okay i'm gonna make it work and i'm looking forward to doing so but i do hope everybody is doing well don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe i try and upload multiple times a week generally tuesdays thursdays and saturdays you can follow me on Snapchat, Trop Plant Party, one word, Instagram, Tropical Plant Party, and Twitter, Tropical Plant JC. I hope everybody's doing well, and tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so I hope everybody has a very, very happy New Year. I'll be, I have a video coming out showing some pretty lights and whatnot. Stay safe, stay warm, and as always, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.